which makes me nervous given our history. I had a molar pregnancy before crew and because of that I'm considered high risk in my first trimesters. So if there's any spotting or bleeding, I need to be seen right away. I've had it go both ways. Obviously we had it not be good news and then also with Indy, I ended up spotting in my first trimester for a full week and he's here today. And so I'm like trying to stay hopeful. It's hard because I just know it's like a 50-50 thing. Yeah, I'm trying to stay hopeful and not worry, but it's just so hard not to. It is very scary. It's hard when you're so excited and you're just like, oh yay, we're gonna be parents to another cute little baby. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, please no, don't be a miscarriage. And please, I hope that the baby's healthy. You just have to wait through like, okay, appointments and blood work and all this stuff. I just feel so many things because I feel so grateful I am pregnant and I just hope that we can stay pregnant. It's really hard. I wish that I just like knew like, oh, it's gonna be okay. I do still feel a lot of pregnancy symptoms. I know when you're having a miscarriage, you stop feeling the symptoms. And so that's a good thing because I definitely feel nauseous, um, like pain a lot. I just feel pregnant, I feel all the things. But I know with a molar pregnancy, you do feel all the symptoms. And so, I don't know. I hope that it's not a molar pregnancy. I've been telling Josh that one thing I have been kind of worried about is that I feel like I look really pregnant and that happens with the molar pregnancy. At my last molar pregnancy, I was 10 weeks along and it, my mom said I look like I was like into my second trimester. I guess I just feel nervous because before I even put it together, before I found out I was pregnant, I was kind of concerned because I felt really bloated. Like I literally was looking up supplements and things to take. It was just like, what's going on? I feel so bloated and then I became pregnant and I was like, oh, it's because I'm pregnant. But I guess now that I'm spotting and I have had a molar pregnancy, I'm like, oh, I do feel like my bump is big. Like, you know. Like, Especially you because Lauren's bumps don't get very big, I wouldn't say. Like, yeah. even at the end of your pregnancy, it doesn't look like a huge bump. But do you feel like it's bigger than normal? Well, considering that your bumps don't get very big and you're saying it looks big, to me, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see it looking a little bit on the big side, which is scary. Yeah. Molar pregnancies really scare me because it's not like a normal miscarriage. It's like you have a tumor inside of you and there's a one in five, a 20% chance that it will turn to cancer. And so it just has this whole other element of being really scary. And we also wouldn't be able to start trying to get pregnant again for a long time. And I do have a friend that just had a baby and she had a big bump early on. And so I'm just hoping that that's what's going on because I know that your stomach does get bigger earlier with the more babies you have. It's just, your stomach is like, it's just doing its thing. And so I'm really hoping that that's just what's going on with me. I'm glad Josh is with me because if it, if she was to tell me anything, it's really nice to have support when you get like any sort of bad news. Our neighbor was so nice to watch the boys. I told her that I was spotting and, and she's watching her, the boys and I just feel so grateful for good people. I just really hope it's good news. I just really hope we just go in there and they're just like, oh, actually it's just this. And it's like, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Like, okay. I don't <laughs> think it will be good news. I think it will just be like a waiting game or bad news, honestly. Yeah. Because like spotting, it's usually one of two things. It's just like a normal pregnancy thing and you have to wait it out or it's a miscarriage. But I'm glad we're going early if it is a molar pregnancy because I just want to figure it out as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the higher chance you have for cancer. But I'm trying not to think of it being a molar pregnancy. It's just, the only thing that scares me is my tummy is big. I love you. I love you. I feel bad that I've been grumpy today. <laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of going on. I think my appointment's in one minute, so we should probably walk. It just started raining though. So I'm there, we're gonna do an ultrasound, I guess. It's gonna be too small to see anything, right? Well, they might be able to see something indicating a molar pregnancy. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. 
I mean, maybe this machine is really good. I'm not able to detect it today. Maybe they just might be able to see that the, maybe the sack isn't well formed or something. I don't know. I love you. Talk about it and I think about like our babies. That's when I get emotional. Because I'm like, I want this baby to be okay, you know? I'm just like, oh, Andy was okay. Like, Cause like sometimes you just don't put it in that perspective yet. Yeah. Like this kid, this like turns into like these little boys that we love so much. There's a gestational sac starting. See that little, right there? Yeah. It's small, but it's there. I do see that the lining is super thickened, meaning it's responding to the pregnancy. It looks like you ovulated from your left side. Yes. Yeah, I could feel it. Oh, you could feel it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that confirms yeah. it. <laughs> That's so, so crazy. You're developing what we call the corpus luteum cyst on that side. So we'll just have to kind of watch. I mean, it's a sack versus like nothing. Yeah. So that's always more reassuring. Oh, because good. molar pregnancies, you know, you don't have a normal sac. There, definitely is there. Oh, good. Okay, one more measure for the gestational sac. So is bloating like common, do you feel like? Yeah, I mean, definitely for early pregnancies, especially because what it does is it kind of slows your whole bowels down. Well, I mean, so far, I feel like as far as everything's looking good so far, so. Yeah. I guess we'll just know more this week. We'll know so much with getting my blood drawn. Last night, I started bleeding a lot. This morning I started bleeding too and I just wish that we weren't here. Like I wish this was like I just feel sad because I was feeling wrong hope and I just feel really sad. Because I feel like it's not a good thing. Like it could be hemorrhaging and it could still be like the baby's okay, that's what they're saying, but like there's a good chance of miscarrying. We should go get your checked out. <laughs> She said that she would go to the ER because I'm gushing blood and that I'm probably either miscarrying or hemorrhaging. It's really cold here. It's cold. They can't tell me anything, you know, like she's just an ultrasound tech, so she was literally doing so much stuff. For like oh. a half an hour and I have no idea. Oh, only the doctor can tell you. Yeah, so oh. I have no idea. I think there's hope. Really? Yeah. I feel I kind of feel like they thought you were gonna be bleeding more than you are, so I love you, Lars. I think they're I think it could still be good news. Really? Yeah. I just don't want it to be bad news. I know, me too. Just like I already kind of feel like it is. Oh, we don't know until they tell us. Oh, it seems like doctor thinks that you could be going through a miscarriage. Yeah. In a couple days, we're gonna go get your other hormones, like your hormone levels checked one more time, and then that will probably be like, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I think it's like, if they're going down, I'm for sure miscarrying. I just feel like I was so excited. Like, I think there was always like a little bit of hope until now. Yeah. I was just so excited for this baby. Yeah.